Hi, I'm Dawn with Drucker Diagnostics, and today we're going to do a quick overview of the controls on your Sarah 12 blood banking centrifuge. Sarah 12 controls overview. The RPM screen displays my currently selected speed in RPMs. I can adjust this using the up and down arrows to the right of the RPM screen. A single press up increases by 50 RPM and a press down decreases by 50. If I accidentally overshoot, I can use the down arrow to get back to my desired speed. Same thing if I accidentally drop it down too far. I can use the up arrow to return to where I want to be. Underneath the RPM screen is the RCF XG button. This button will toggle the RPM screen to show G-Force instead. I can tell that it's showing me G-Force because the screen here on the bottom will have the words RCF displayed in it. Now, when I have my G-Force displayed in the RPM screen, I can use the buttons to the right of the RPM screen to adjust by G-Force instead of by RPM. I just need to keep holding in that button. And keep in mind that as I adjust either my RPM or my G-Force, that number will change dynamically to represent the new currently selected speed. So as I increase or decrease, the currently shown value is the one that I will spin. To the right of that, we have our indicator lights. The left-hand light lights up when the centrifuge is spinning. The center light lights up whenever the centrifuge lid lock is engaged. And the right-hand side lights up to indicate that lid latch is unlocked. The two lights on the left and middle are commonly illuminated at the same time. That's because the lid lock will automatically engage whenever the centrifuge rotor is spinning. The right-hand light, the unlocked light, will illuminate after the centrifuge has come to a complete stop. The lid latch will disengage for 60 seconds, one minute, after the centrifuge has come to that complete stop. If the centrifuge is not opened during that time, the lid latch will lock in place again, and you'll need to use the stop unlock button, which we'll cover in just a moment, to unlock it and retrieve your samples. If the lid is left open, the buttons will go dark, indicating that the centrifuge is ready for its next spin. Underneath those lights is the stop unlock button. This button can be used to either stop a current spin or to unlock the centrifuge if the lid lock engages and you need to access the samples. The button next to that is the start button. This will start a cycle with your currently selected RPM, time, and brake parameters. The time display screen shows the currently selected time. This can be adjusted in the same way the RPMs were, using the buttons next to it. A single press will increase or decrease the time by five seconds. If you press and hold, that will increase or decrease the time by 15 seconds. And keep in mind, as with the RPMs, if you overshoot your target time, you can always use the down arrow to decrease. And likewise, if you decrease too much, you can use the up arrow to increase again. Next to that, we have a brake setting indicator. If the screen is dark, that indicates the brake will not engage to slow the rotor at the end of the cycle. If there is a line in that screen, that indicates that the brake will engage to help slow down the rotor. To adjust the brake setting, hit the menu button. The word brake now displays in the RPM screen and the words off and on can be toggled in the time screen. By default, the Sara 12 brake is off. If you want to engage it, simply press the up button next to the time screen and you'll see the word on appear in that screen. Once you're finished adjusting that, press the button to exit. The brake is now engaged. Next to that brake indicator, we have the menu button. This is used to access the advanced menu, which will allow you to adjust braking 
and other more advanced settings on the Sera 12. And then we have the cycle button and the cycle indicator. The cycle button is used to create and manage your saved cycles. A saved cycle is a preset RPM or GeForce time and break setting that has been saved to your Sera 12's memory for easy recall. Your Sera 12 can hold up to 10 of these preset settings at one time. The cycle button allows you to create a new cycle by pressing and holding it after setting your RPM, time, and break settings accordingly, or to toggle between different saved cycles that you've already stored in memory. You can also press and hold the cycle button to enter the basic menu, which will allow you to edit the RPM and time on a saved cycle. And those are the controls for your Sera 12 blood banking centrifuge. If you have other questions, you can always contact Drucker Customer Service. And if you'd like to learn more about how to use your Sera 12 blood banking centrifuge, some helpful links are popping up on your screen right now. Thanks for watching and have a great day.